Like I had this happen for the first time ever. I had a white girl come to my door and complain about my music being too loud. And I got pissed off. I was like, this is a black neighborhood. That's what the fuck we do. <laughs> Hello once again, and this is Eric with The Last Laugh, New York Natives comedy series. Today, I will be interviewing Marina Franklin, great New York City stand-up comedian, and she's got some awesome only in New York stories. So let's talk to Marina right now. It was messed up, because I was playing Simon and Garfunkel. So living in New York, being a New Yorker makes you funny. How does it make you funny? Being in New York, you have a plethora of, is that a word? Yeah, that works. Of material, because you everything is very visceral and visual. And you can, you can see it, you can smell it, you can hear it. Look, I know all of the homeless people on my train. I know all the entertainers. I know the one, one guy who sings he, he blows his trumpet to, um, or trombone. He's got a trombone. He has a trombone <laughs> to Careless Whisper oh. by George Michael. <laughs> and then he gets, and I've actually seen him do this several times, and then he gets off. I've seen him do this and pees on the platform. <laughs> what stop is that? Is it a specific? 116th Street and Frederick Douglass Boulevard. All right, cool. So I was like, ew. <laughs> Do you have any good only in New York stories? Something that just could only happen here in New York City? I, this happened one time because New York is really the mind your business capital of the world. You know, you just just mind your business. I didn't learn. It took me a while to learn that. I had this one woman. She was yelling at this child on the street real bad. She was like, "Get your ass over here!" I said, "Get your black ass over here!" Get it over here! Now what? you crying for? Shut it up. I said, shut it up. I pop you in your mouth. Stop calling me mom. I looked at her. I was like, oh my God, you don't talk to a child like that. She looked at me. She's like, what the hell you looking at, huh? You want to raise my child? No. You're doing a great job. Let's talk about this in your stand-up act. You talk about uh, dating younger guys. You seem to like that. You want to talk about that a little bit? You have any stories about dating younger guys? Yeah, but I have a guy now. He's, 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 he's I'm happy, so that's not funny. <laughs> Miserable is hilarious. He's really, he's younger than me. He's really young. He's younger. So I'm officially a cougar. Oh, thank you. He's young and he's white, so I'm not just a cougar, I'm a Black Panther. <laughs> Does it like, make you funnier as a comic to date him? I think so. Yeah. I think it gives me a lot of material. Yeah. You know, I mean, he talks about high school still. So. <laughs> you know how I got him? I was, uh, I was hanging out in a GameStop and... Uh, <laughs> What? That's what they like, you know. I told him, I said, I got an Xbox. It's right here. 